um, let me talk about the geographical story. You were also talking you, on, in your target site. We've had DR Congo for a little bit. Correct. We've had Mozambique. Correct. Tell us what's going on there. So those markets remain a focus for us. Obviously, Ethiopia was going to be one of the ones we focused on uh, last, uh, last year. So the other ones are on track. I, I mean, we do now seven the next two to three years. Yes. And it's just looking at how do we connect all our customers and clients across that platform, Malikan. And that's for me the exciting part. So if you think, uh, you know, the DRC is very close to us in the region. Yes. Are you looking at... Well, you've uh, already got a bran branches in yes, Rwanda, exactly. which are very busy and they're exactly. banking the DRC Ex in a way, exactly. yes? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you're excited by that? Exactly. Very, very excited, Alikan. Still talking, uh, still looking at Somalia? Uh, yes, Somalia, it's something that would be slightly lower. I mean, we've been very ready to be able to open businesses, but I th our goal is to continue to strengthen the market in terms of regulation, how yes. do you run a financial services that uh, still meets the global standards, and perhaps our Sahal banking, which yes. has been our Islamic banking arm, maybe one area we may want to use to catapult ourselves yes. in that market uh, in, 20, in 2017. Is that product ready for the market? It, is it deployed in the market, or would yes. you say you're still, you know, because yes, I remember there's yes. still some regulation, isn't there, that's yes. required? Yes, correct. Is, correct. That, is that all ready for so you? It's a work in progress right yes. now. I wouldn't say we're done yet, yes. but I think it's work in progress, and perhaps in the next year, this year, mm. is about putting, connecting the dots going forward in a market like uh, in Somalia. Yes. And, and because we're already running very strongly our Sharia compliant product, yes. it may be one way to be able to progressively enter that market. Mm. But it will come slightly later in my view than what we see in uh, the two markets, which is the DR Congo and in, in Mozambique. And, and Joshua, you know, I remember when I used to look through the accounts in 2010. Just tell me what 2010 cost to income ratio was. <laughs> 2010 cost to income ratio was around about 64 yeah. percent, 64 to 65 percent. You brought that down to 50.1, I exactly. think, the last time. Exactly. And, you know, I remember us talking and, uh, and your, your grip on the yes. basis points of the business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any, any of your management have seen anything like it. So just tell us, you know, we've had some big trend improvements in the KCB story. That's a clear example of, 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 of that. Um, where else would you say you're most proud of in terms of what's been achieved at that sort of financial level? Yes. I mean, I would say, Ali, can, I mean, three main areas. Obviously, the business, the buzz around the organization yes. has been very strong in terms of our brand and our engagement. The brand has been very strong. And, and, and although naturally on the side of technology, mm -hmm. uh, the innovation of products, uh, using our digital channels, mm -hmm. our mobile investment, that has been very, very good for us. Yes. The KCBM PES has been a, a big partnership with Safaricom. That I think for us, as we have the most strategic push yes. in the business that we've run ourselves. Uh, we, so that has also helped us manage our cost drive. So basically as we continue pushing down our costs, by using technology, yes. we've been able to monetize those transactions across the entire organizations and therefore build a platform of a strong business. We're also going into a major investment of our co-banking system this year, yes. so targeting 30 million customers. That yeah, building the capacity. Exactly. Yes. So that gives you a good chance mm. in terms of where we see our businesses progressing. That's to, a big to increase. Yeah. Exactly. So I would say that area. And also, you know, we have a, have a great team. We have a team that has been able to really look at strength. Our international businesses yes, were contributing six percent, yeah. uh, which was a, a first time we correct. had a reduction there for quite a while, exactly, wasn't it? Exactly. Was that a currency thing? Yes. Yeah. Purely a currency thing. Because the shilling it, yes. was very strong. Everything Absolutely. else was Absolutely. Yeah. That, that has been very well for mm. ourselves. So, if you look at the South Sudan devaluations, yes. Actually, without that, we are going to contribute. In international business, we're going to be sixteen percent. Wow. So okay. very close to our twenty percent target we have in, in, yes. internally. Correct. So, Correct. The, so, so really was more a currency play. And then if you look yes, at yes. that, yes. South Sudan is obviously yes. the biggest piece yes. Yes. Correct. Of, of, of the international businesses. Yes, today it's a 6%. 6%. Correct. Second is? Uh, Rwanda today. Rwanda. Yeah, at 3%. Yes. Tanzania at 3%. And, yes. and uh, Uganda, n not so much. Not very good. But this year we expect to do much better in Uganda. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And how w and w w what's because. driving the growth in these markets? Rwanda, yes, of course, is not the, one of the biggest EAC countries, but mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. is it because it's progressive in terms of, uh, you know, you're in every district, I think, in Rwanda yeah, exactly. as well. Exactly. I mean, it's, I think it's our approach, Alikan. So I would say two things on, on, on that. If you look at the region internally, for us, 
Rwanda has been a, a big push on technology. Yes. So if you look at the deployment, so in, in, in Rwanda and Tanzania, we are very much present in a lot of areas in the country. Yeah. But what has worked well in Rwanda is the push and the bias, positive bias yes. around the technology. Yes. So that has brought in many people within the economic area of our business that we engage. That has been very catalytic for us. South Sudan, we had, a, we had an, um, a, a, an early move advantage for ourselves. Yes. Uganda, a little bit more difficult, I would say, yes. because but of the nature. you run up to the election. Exactly. You exactly. Know. Like last year was very difficult for us in, in, in Uganda specifically because uh, of the elections. I just came out of there on Friday. You were the in Yes, Entebbe. and you can always say that mm. um, the difficulties was everyone was very much in a limbo yes. for the elections. Yes. So for a year, people were waiting. Now everything is up, Alican, so we can run business. Joshua, yes. what else would you like to add? No, pretty excited to mm. say from where we sit as an industry and for KCB, I think it's been exciting. When yes. I look at the market, the market exited, the market reacted up, very up, positive. Up nearly 6%. From where right. we are. And I did say that yes. beforehand. Yes. I said the results will come Correct. and then they'll react. So we're very excited about what we yes. see as a business, whether here. And I think what we like to see much more is consolidating our business, not just in Kenya, but yeah. using the region as a platform to push our business to the next frontier of our growth. That for me is the exciting part. And I'm excited to see the buzz and the energy that in the market. Well. And that for us is what will expel and propel our businesses going forward into a stronger unit and home for a financial services group like ourselves within the region. And you've done extremely well, Joshua. Thank We're you. We're really proud. And Thank you, you very know, much. I was listening in to those results and I yes. thought, my word, what in a short space of time, yes. you've driven this organization a Thank great you. distance. Thank you. And I know you keep saying that it's not a sprint, but I can see. <laughs> oh, and by the way, congratulations. Yes, yes. I heard you, 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 were, you went running this weekend. Yes, I was running this and weekend. And how many kilometers did uh, you? 21 kilometers, Alec. My God. Yeah, in below two and a half hours. This, this, these are your genes, yes. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Thank you very much. Joshua, we're, Thank you. we're really impressed. Mm -hmm.